Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force on the Sega Genesis. Evans Frogman here, and I fast forward it to the end of this battle. Okay, a few things about the start of this battle. As the Battle Boy completely fails at hitting that Dark Priest. Good lord, man. Has two chances and misses both. Come on, buddy. Shake yourself. But yeah, the skeletons at the start, they all have medical herbs, so you might want to take take care when you're fighting them, because they're probably going to get some hit points back unless you destroy them really quick. Okay, so here is Zylo, ladies and gentlemen. And he, and he is freaking awesome. He gains large movement bonuses whenever he's in forest terrain, which which makes him a very good choice for this for this battle. And secondly, no pun intended, he is a fucking beast. Just watch. Hello, Pegasus Knight. Boom! Oh, I love his attack, it's awesome. It should also be noted that Pegasus Knights also are huge experience boosters, which makes us a pretty decent grind pretty decent grind battle, especially if you have a character or two that's liking behind levels a little bit. Alright Max, get in there and get us some giant frog legs. Yeah! But yeah, I just love the way Zylo just jumps up in the air and then owns the enemy in the face. Whenever you see a fallen enemy with claw marks on his face, that's the mark of Zylo, baby. That's the mark of greatness. As Gore pretty much destroys the Dark Priest there. Okay, so... You could either destroy the enemy like I did, or you can somehow reach the bridge's max to win this battle. And as soon as we hit the bridge, we go right into our next next scene here. Ah, we get an argument. Oh, what a pussy. Dies in one hit. Or so we presume. This is the laser eye, folks. Okay, so how this thing works is that it will count down to... Uh, it'll count down to zero. Counting down two or three at a time, I believe. And it basically fires along this line. I think... I think it's either these two spots, or these four spots that'll fire along. I wasn't exactly paying attention when the, its attack radius came out. But anyway, our actual objective in this battle is to actually kill this guy. The one who took off that... potential character. These are obviously the new Rune Knights, the Silver Knights. Now, for... Here's my question, okay? Why are we not just capturing this thing? Why are we destroying it? To me, it seems like it would have a lot more use being used against the Runefoss army instead of, you know, just blowing it up. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. This thing will hit its own, hit its own, hit its own allies, as well as you. Many people actually consider this a boss fight, so I am actually going to play this through in its entirety. And since I don't feel the need to raise my levels, obviously, we'll just do this, start this up right now. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I actually mentioned this earlier, but uh, Tao learned Blaze 3 earlier, so it's just like Blades 2, only stronger, with much bigger fireballs. So now 
now she'll be blowing enemies to sky high in a cute bikini with stock. So yeah, just remember that guy just came up that just came out the bridge there. He's the one we actually want to take out. If we want to end this battle in a hurry. And this guy's feeling pretty brave. Unfortunately for him, bravery will not be enough to save his little toad behind. So yeah, it's got... Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I like how they, they deal the, do the lizard thing with the lizard eye. It's actually pretty ominous. What the hell? Henri, go ahead and take him out. Who's up for frozen frog legs? Okay, now, at this point, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep my characters right there. And I'm, we're going to wait for that laser eye to fire its first shot. And then we're going to... We're just going to go and we're going to try to charge across that bridge as quickly as we can and get at the laser eye before it can take another shot at us. So unfortunately, the next few turns will be mostly just us standing here until... The laser eye fires off that initial shot. So my apologies if this, if this becomes very boring uh, for the first little bit. But I do, I'd, I'd really rather not have my characters get hit by that damn thing. It doesn't do massive amounts of damage, but it can but it can put some of your weaker defensive characters in danger, so keep that in mind. Plus, I can't I I'm not exactly 100 percent sure about this, but I think it might actually ignore defense. And here's our next challenger! Yeah, this is the point where I really wish we had frames yet, but, unfor but un unfortunately, Jens doesn't have that. And the, the Genesis emulator that does, Kega Fusion, unfortunately, I've had problems recording on, so... Okay, so that thing's going to shoot in two turns. Despite all... Despite all common sense telling us to go back up Alberoy, we're going to actually expect him to be able to handle himself here. Just in case that thing's firing radius comes up a little... goes down a little further than I thought it did. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ken's got high enough hit points, I think, so we'll take the chance. If he gets hit by it, then we'll be we'll be able to heal him quite easily. No big deal. Stab all you like, buddy, it ain't gonna help ya. Oh yeah, I just realized I failed to go and ask Nova for the advice before this battle. 
Okay, so it will fire on its next turn. I'm gonna see if I can't get that Pegasus Knight killed before the end of this video. Perfect! Get him, Valroy! Yes, sir! Okay, folks, it's now time for me to cut this video out. But I'll see you guys next time, and we will see the laser eye fire! So until then, have a good day, everybody.